Alec here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm sorry, I really messed up the last part, and I feel so bad about it, but I have a few thoughts on why that was, and maybe I'll talk about them now, or maybe I'll do it another time. Also, I hope that intro is okay. My voice is a bit all over the place tonight. Anyway, if you remember, yes, things got super weird. I hope you guys are okay, and not super weird and crap. Let's continue, let's see what's up. Because as far as I know, there's still loads of to go. I think we're doing poems again. We basically restarted everything. I guess I'll be on my way then. Indeed we shall. To write some more poetry masterpieces. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. Oh yeah, I meant to ask you guys. Which girl should we try to, like, um, what's the word? I don't know. Like, who should we write for this time? Or maybe we can choose Monica now. I can't wait. Me either, actually. That's why we're playing this. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. There's no salary anymore. Ah! The girl, the whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, hell yeah, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Yeah, will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Has he got through this before? Mitch, you need a better memory. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. I told you this crap was coming again. Aunt, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances. I'm sure good fortune will find me. <laughs> Hell no, dude, you're gonna die. I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. So what are we gonna write about or two? Who, not what? You've unlocked a special poem. <gasps> Sweet, would you like to read it? Maybe I can read this. I like when Papa comes home early. I like when Papa cooks my dinner. I like when Papa gives me allowance. I like when Papa spends time with me. I like when Papa asks me about my friends. I like when Papa asks me about anything. I like when Papa gives me lunch money. I like when Papa comes home before sundown. I like when Papa cooks. I like when Papa gives me privacy. It's getting creepy now. I like when Papa don't tell me how to dress. I like when Papa doesn't comment on my friends. Oh, she doesn't like he, she, it doesn't like commenting on friends, but likes asking about it. Okay, it's important to draw the lines here. I like when Papa doesn't comment on my hobbies. I like when Papa comes home without waking me up. Uh, that's... I don't know what that means. Am I reading into that too much? Because that's a bit fishy. Eh, I like when Papa keeps food in the house. I like when Papa uses his inside voice. I like when Papa leaves my stuff alone. I like when Papa accidentally drops coins in the couch. Okay, because they get money that way. That's a good tactic there. Way to get your own alliance. I like when Papa's too tired to notice me. Oh. I like when Papa's too tired for anything. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. Bravo! What the hell's that about? Oh, there's some big creepy as balls. That's very interesting though. Is that something we need to know? Oh, there's still no Monica! Why? I want to write for Monica. I want to make her happy too, but we're not allowed to. Okay, uh, cute uh, skirt. Destiny point. Captive pink. Tears, special cheer, intellectual melancholy. Crap, but then more Yuri. Hang on, I gotta stop. Clyde's. Going for Natsuki, okay? I've changed my mind. Fluffy Clyde's. Dazzling, fluffy, contamination Clyde's. No, it's Yuri, my bad. Uh, what's up? Parfait. Oh, I know those. Donkey was talking about those in Shrek. Literally, that's my only knowledge of them. Uh, what would Natsuki like? Not death. No, definitely not. Waterfalls. I thought Yuri might like that too, honestly. Rainbows. Where he goes a fear? Kitties! Smiles. We got lots of Natsuki! I want to do this one. I'm hoping we'll get a chance to do all of them. Hi again, Pilly Beans. Hello. Glad you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha, I probably should have. We should have called for help. Been like, help, my memory's been erased and crap. But you wouldn't know then. Damn! Bam, right in the balls. Now, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least keep my word. Yeah. We're a man of honor. Chivalry, it ain't dead. It was just hibernating. Like a, a large, handsome bear thing. Sorry, that game might be wrong. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everybody else is already hanging out. Um, Yuri, I'm not trying to comment on your makeup, but you're looking a little pixelated at times today. Thanks for keeping your promise. You surprised? That's a backhanded, snarky remark. Don't be like that. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Oh, she's just being thoughtful. It's just because the music being a bit weird. It's like a bit wibbly. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh my goodness, please help. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. This Nazi is still the same person if she looks a little weird. No, the music is weird. Stop! 
You already have to be dragged here by Monica. Natsuki, don't be like that, okay? I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out with us or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Uh, this music, man. Uh, Monica, you're in front of the letters. I can't read them. Natsuki certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Monica, you're blocking the dialogue. Piss off. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. I remember this bit. But this time, Monica's in the way. Manga is literature. You tell her again, Natsuki. Maybe she'll get it in this reality. Swiftly defeated. Natsuki plows back in her seat. <gasps> Maybe we could talk to this time and be like, Hey, Natsuki. Wink, wink. Manga is literature, Natsuki. And she'll be all, like, impressed and crap. Maybe. I'm sorry. Why? What'd you do? Well, make sure uh, to put your comfort first, okay? Don't do that. I'm not a friggin' puppy, okay? You didn't bring me in. Like, we're trying to join the club. Here he shoots Natsuki with a disappointed gun. What did Natsuki do? Monica was being mean to her. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club. Oh, she's being mean to us. But I can take it. I'm a big boy, okay? Don't patronize me. Now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read. Uh, perhaps I might. No promises, though. Well, I can't really say no either way. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure we'll get killed or something if we do. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. Yeah, exactly. Wait. Okay, I'm waiting. What's up? I didn't mean it like that. I'm so confused. Roll with it. It'll be okay. Uh, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. I didn't say that. Come on. Uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. We're just illiterate, right? I want to try to be a part of this club, so even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Man, you're saying all the right words. 10 out of 10. Uh, are you sure? She's blushing. Yeah, I'm sure. I've just like, felt like, well, as vice president and all. Ah, uh, be honest, Yuri. It's okay. I should help you get started on something you might like. Yeah, it works either way you want to look at it. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I hope it's a good one. I didn't want you to feel left out. Thank you. She looks so cute and like friendly when she's got her wee hands behind her back and her wee friendly eyes on us. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. Music, can you piss off? It's weird as hell. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention. What are you implying? That's cheeky, Monica. Yuri, whatever one you are. Yuri, that's one, my bad. Even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know... What? Discuss it if you want it. <gasps> well, let's discuss it. Yeah, why not? Uh, the, the this is. How is this girl accidentally being so cute? I don't know. You're kind of like that, right? I was trying to say that a minute ago, but I didn't say it so good. She even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Yeah, she's just thoughtful. She tries. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. <sighs> well, you can read at your own pace. Don't worry, I will. Like about one page a year. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. What's she doing then? But that doesn't seem to be the case. Ah, oh, crap! We're not doing anything! Yuri's face is already bearing the book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Oh, to give us a book! Da, oh, Yuri, you're so adorable! Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Just looking for a collection to hide it. Don't hide it! I want to see it! But it's amazing! Uh, We can interrupt. I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. What's up? She seems to be annoyed by something. Is it us? Or did she find Narnia? I don't know. I approach her. In case she needs a hand. <gasps> ah, what you doing, chum? You're looking for something in there. No, man. She was just rummaging about for giggles. That's what she does. She's a human hedgehog. Fucking Monica! Uh, okay? Why? Natsuki! What? Why is the text like that? She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. Was that legit or weird? I am so confused, but that seemed different. Is that maybe her true feelings? I still don't know what's going on here. I still don't know what's real and what's not. Which kind of got in the way with the last episode, because when Sayori's thingy happened, I was like, is this even real? I don't know! Let's just keep going. What's the point keeping your collection organized if someone else is going to just mess it up? Damn straight, Natsuki. There are decency things that we must all do for each other. Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Maybe it's just hidden. Manga. 
You're right, Mango, right? Oh, Army eyes are lighting up. We're on the right path, chubs! Uh, sometimes, let's relate. Mango's one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. Nah, dude, don't be a pansy! You just gotta be confident enough in yourself to talk about things. How'd you know anyway? Or maybe it is in Japan. Nah, no, it still applies. Be honest about yourself. Who cares? I heard you bring it up at some point. Oh, really? Besides, it's kind of written on your face. Okay, is that because he's got like a sword out on line head haircut? I don't know. We saw him from the back. Actually, he kind of looked like me a little bit, which was weird and slightly creepy. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, I see. There's a long volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. <gasps> oh, curious. I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. We're fine if we're you happy. She then turns to a box of manga and slaps the volume right into the middle of the rest. Maybe that's a shitty one, if you know what I mean. Ah, much better. Or maybe she just likes organization. Maybe she's like a collector. She has all the issues of this and she wants them in the right order. I don't know, maybe we'll find out as we get to know her. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. Oh my goodness, I was actually onto something. Instead of just being like, Natsuki's weird. I understood. I am growing as a person. Can I have a round of applause? Or just a like or something? Thank you, that'd be nice. I'm just kidding, don't worry. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Parfait girl. <gasps> oh. Sounds very sweet and things. It's a series I've never heard of in my life. <sighs> that probably means it's either way out of my demographic, or it's simply terrible. Or you're just a dick and it is out of your demographic. That seems more likely. If you're gonna judge, you could do it through the glasses on that door. Or through the glass. What do you mean? Was he saying that out loud? I thought he was saying that on his head. She points to the classroom door. Ah, <gasps> oh, She's kicking us out of her life. Natsuki, it's okay. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. He didn't! You're judging us! Jump into conclusions! Let us speak before you burn us! <sighs> it was the tone of your voice. In my head? What? But I'll tell you one thing, Pilly Bees. Okay, go, shoot, I'm interested. Cause serious a lessons. Oh, don't judge a book, KKK. Eh, uh, right! That's interesting, Natsuki. I like your new font, but can we stick to the other one? In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. Oh, really? I'm excited about this. Like, no kidding, man. She just shoves the books right into my hands. I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly moe. I know how to pronounce that word somehow, but I don't know what that means. Don't just stand there. But what else am I meant to do? A what? Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. Interesting wording there. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window stuff. We're gonna read together. Yeah! She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. That's so sweet. Oh, why aren't you sitting down? It's one of those dissonance thingies in gaming, right? It says one thing and we're doing another. It's so confusing. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? Nah, man, just relax. I'd take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We gotta get close. We gotta be like, non-sophisticated or whatever. Just relax and chill. We can't read at the same time like that. Oh, why is that? I guess it's easier to be close together like this. I was trying to say that. Ugh, look at Nazi see this ever meant. Shut up! Just let her talk, okay? Don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Okay, I'm sorry, all right? Nazi crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Ah, man, you're screwing this up royally. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. I wonder if we could see this like as an actual picture like we did with Sayori. Maybe we'll in a second. No, I could say it's a particularly bad thing. Damn straight, dude. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. Uh, I'm on to you, Natsuki. You're not getting away with this crap. I can feel her peering over my shoulder. Much more eager to begin reading than I am. This is so adorable. Wow! How long has it been since I read the beginning? I don't know, you tell us. We'll learn about you. Huh? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then. Not really. Huh. Maybe she likes, like, completion of when she's done, she moves on. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Yes, I am! Why are you saying that? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet. Exactly. So I can talk at the same time. 
It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew up out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough for me to make up for the lack of plot. Mate, don't say that or she'll kill you. Ah! Look at that wee face! I'm sorry, but that's adorable, dude. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? You can see how tiny she is here. It's not. Even though you're just watching me read. Well, I'm fine with that. Oh, man, I can't stop looking at her eyes. She's hypnotizing me, judging me and things. <sighs> if you say so, I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. Yeah, they all believe in this, and I like that about them all. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. Yeah, because you're like, you can't wait to talk about it with them and see their joy, right? It's going to be fun for everyone that way. You know what I mean? Question mark. No, it's key. Stop sitting there with your mouth open. Flies will fly in, okay? You don't? Uh. Huh. Oh, that's not. Maybe she doesn't share things with people much. I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? <gasps> she can't because they're judgmental bastards. Could you not rub it in? I'm sorry. I'm so. Look at the wee face! Damn! It's like super puppy. Jeez! I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, Natsuki. Hmm. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. Well, we're your friend and we're reading it. Those eyes! I can't stop looking in them! I need, like, shield thing, one of those horse blinder things, right? They just think manga's for kids. Oh, I can't even bring it up with them being all like, Uh, sorry, I still haven't grown out of that yet. Well, screw those guys, Natsuki, okay? You do your thing. They haven't grown out of poetry. Literature is literature. It doesn't matter what it is. It makes me want to punch them in the face. Maybe we should try that. Maybe they get the point that way. I mean, I know it's a little violent, but sometimes people need to get slapped to wake them up. It was only a little physical injury. That came out slightly wrong. I didn't mean any harm, okay? Uh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge. Most of friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time. <sighs> Man, that was quite possibly the dumbest thing you said so far. You straight up told her you're a loser, and then you secondly accused her of being a loser at the same time. Prepare to get stabbed. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Are you making it worse? I can't even tell. Huh. It doesn't seem so. That's pretty accurate. Wow. I am completely lost. Maybe they're like birds of a feather and I just don't get it. That's the only conclusion I can come to here. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel I can't even keep it in my own room. <gasps> Why not? My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this. What? <gasps> Was that her letter? Ah! Uh, no! Oh, please tell me that's not- No! No! That can't be what's happening here. This is like the truth, right? When it writes its black outlines, it means what's actually going on. <sighs> At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Oh, I just can't win, can I? You can win with us, okay? We'll give you first prize, and we'll place on a nice podium and some cake. You like that, right? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Yeah, you're converting people. It's not like that solves any of my problems. Oh, come on, Natsuki. A little bit of time, right? Maybe, but at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Uh, that's not the I'm enjoying myself face. We'll get there though, we'll cheer up. So, uh, what? Jeez, that's enough. Why is? What's wrong with her? Why are you so done? Come on, chub, cheer up. You gotta keep reading or what? Okay, I will. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I flipped the page. Uh, what is it? Absolutely nothing so far. Has the game broken itself? Oh no, it's one down here. Lots of dots, more dots, time passes. That's getting strangely quiet now. I wonder why. I glance over at her. Is she okay? You dead, Natsuki? She's asleep! What? No way. <gasps> Natsuki, that's adorable. We should draw a mustache on her face, because that's a chivalrous thing to do, right? Sorry, that's dumb as hell. In fairness, I could have said worse. Don't judge, okay? Hey, Natsuki, I oh, want to rake her up. Yeah? Ah, uh, suddenly Natsuki collapses straight onto me. <gasps> Hey! I can't read that, Natsuki, and your eyes are going completely crazy. But I'm sure it's riveting, whatever you're saying. Jeez! What is it, Monica? 
Ah, so you're okay. My question exactly, but I have no idea what the answer is. <sighs> Here. What? Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. Maybe it's just hungry, but it seems unlikely. I don't think that's what happens when you get hungry. But this is a crazy world. Let's just roll with it. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. What is going on here? She just snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give me... Mm. Fine, maybe she does. I was trying to work out like, what's she doing here? Is the protein bar something else? Or what? I don't get it. I am so confused. I'm sorry. She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Or maybe it is something weird. Don't worry, Pilly Beans. She's fine. Absolutely. I'm 100% convinced. Not to worry, dude. It just happens every now and then. Uh, yeah, totally. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Nothing creepy here, guys. Move on. Anyway, why don't we all share our poems now? <gasps> Why not? Yes! We get to read some more poems! Who poem should I read? Uh, who should I read my poem to first? Let's go with Monica. Just for once, let's change the order. I should start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem. I want her to know I'm putting in effort. But we wrote it for Natsuki, which was probably not the best idea. Hi, Pilly Beans! Hello! I have a good time so far. Yeah! It's a bit weird, but it's fun anyway. Ah, yeah! Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. So is Yuri though, she's the VP, right? Right, don't forget about her. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? I won't. Alright, I'll keep on my mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. Yeah, because we're new. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Yeah, I guess it's got a point there. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? Nope, but we're gonna have to. I gotta read again. Hooray! It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ha! <laughs> Monica, don't be all like that. Don't worry, Pilly Beans. Why, oh, she's been supportive, my bad. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. Why? Oh, because it's everyone's first time. I keep forgetting everyone's reset, but it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Damn straight! That's true. I have Monica my poem. There you go. Mm-hmm. I like it, Pilly Beans. <gasps> Really? I thought you'd hate it because it was for Natsuki. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Well, we're just like that. We are totes adorbs, mate. Sorry. Ha! Oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. Don't it just. And she's a good writer, too. Absolutely. So take that as a compliment. We'll tell her that, okay? Because she feels all darn and scared. Uh, yeah, if you say so. Yep. If you're interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. She's not a dog! What the hell? Doesn't make any sense. She'll cling to you like a puppy. I was just saying, Monica, I don't like this. This is confusing and slightly creepy. <laughs> she wasn't like this the first time we played it, right? Like either of them. She wasn't feeding Natsuki, throwing food for her. And Natsuki wasn't like as simple as that. I don't get it. Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money. <gasps> Or leave her any food in the house. So she's in a fuzzy mood pretty often. Sorry, my voice just completely broke. So it was Natsuki's letters then, or Natsuki's poem by her dad. Man, this is getting so dark. We gotta protect her. We're not losing anyone else, okay? But sometimes she just loses all her strength and shuts down. Like a little robot, like earlier. I saw in uh, Monica. It's just a guess, but I think she's so small because of her malnutrition. <gasps> ah! Interfering with her adolescent growth. That's so sad. But hey, some guys are into petite girls too, you know. Some friends help friends who are in trouble. It's not about what you're into, Monica. Right? That's so cruel. Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. Okay. Why don't you do something? Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Okie dokie. If it's scary though, I'm going to burn it, alright? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You're the boss, of course you're good. Do you sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good? You're on tune, Monica. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. Oh, so maybe she is a little bit humble. Okay, let's not judge her anymore. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? Exactly. I see. Well, let's read it then. Off we go. Hole in wall. Like one of the ones you get in bathrooms, or like one of the ones you look through. He wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings, but my burned eyes could no longer see color. Oh. 
Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Are there simply poems on flat sheets of paper? Those sign of frantic scrawling, playing tricks in my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe disappears before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. He's right there. He's right there. Swallow my fears. I brandish my pen. Ah, that was quite nice. I feel like I was about to be trapped in poetry, like you crumple a letter and everything crumples around you. Something like that, right? What do you think? I think it was great, Monica. It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. I don't know if it is. I call it crumpling paper. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask about feedback. At least he's open enough to say that, where dense as hell would be a better way of putting it. That's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. I don't think that's why she does it, though. She just does it because she's passionate and that's what she, like, gravitates towards, right? That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. <gasps> oh, was I reading that right then? I don't know, when I was reading it, I was like, why am I moving, like, I finished, like, one line in the next one, like, halfway through. Does that make sense? But it just came naturally to me, which is where I think the art of writing lies, in that you'll read things as they're meant to be written, read, or did I do it totally wrong? Do you get what I'm saying? I hope so, and that I'm not hurting your brain. Either way, let's move on. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. Oh, what was the inspiration behind this one? I know what it was. It's about her situation here. <gasps> Does she like us? Is it us? Really? It could be. It's by us on how she feels. Maybe. It's just a theory. I'm probably really slow, but it might be. Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know quite how to put it. Go for it. Do your best. I guess you could say, I had some kind of epiphany recently. Okay, I had a few of those as well, I think. Not that I know what they are. It's been influencing my poems a bit. Sorry, I was just saying it because I wanted to be joining in, you know. An epiphany? Hey, what the hell is that? Something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. It's okay. I respect depths and things. Maybe after everyone's better friends with each other, we can all talk around the campfire, sing some songs. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. <gasps> I freaking love these, man. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, you'll never make any progress. Exactly, I agree with that entirely. I did some writing when I was smaller and stuff. It doesn't really cut, but I know what she means, okay? So don't judge. Just force yourself to get something down the paper and tidy up later. <gasps> We've already heard this one. Maybe that's why I agree with it so much. I'm being programmed by her words or something. Another way to think about it is this. <gasps> oh, do tell me now, Monica. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. Oh, we have seen this before. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Well, thank you, Monica. It was really good advice. Thanks for listening. Thank you for sharing. <gasps> oh, it's a nut. Oh, we're reading our poem. I don't know if I have time, though. I think I'm out, honestly. Crap! Sorry, but I am out of time. We're gonna have to leave it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't know if I mentioned this during the episode, or at the beginning or something, but I think I got something I want to say about the previous part, because I feel so bad about it. Anyway though, I hope you guys enjoyed this, it skipped a little while. It's really interesting and things are changing. I'm confused as hell though, but I'm going to do my best to roll with it. I did say what I wanted to say actually about Sayori. I'm a little concerned at times that the whole, eh, uh, it's like one of those EXE horror games, it's like, oh my goodness, the game is all uh, crashing and breaking up, it's so scary and stuff. Like, I feel like that almost took away from the Sayori thing, because I was like, I didn't know what was going on. Like, when you see that, you're like, it's not real. And then when you're seeing something like what's happened to Sayori, you should be, like, able to appreciate that in the full horror, right? And I couldn't, because I didn't know what was going on. And I'm really disappointed, because it seems like Sayori's gone. And I just... It just went, like, over my head. Like, I felt all sorts of things at the time. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It's just gone the way, so I hope that... Like, that side of the game won't get in the way of the good stuff. I hope it's there for a reason, because I don't understand it at the moment. Anyway, I'm still enjoying this a lot. I hope you guys are too. If you like this, please consider leaving a like, because it really helps. Take care of yourselves, okay? I'll see you in the next one. Bye!